Hello, this is Dimsy, and welcome to part one of the Cinderella challenge. This was actually a suggestion from one of my subscribers. Um, her name is Five Dark Bat. I will leave a description for her in. I, mean, I will leave a link to her channel in the description. And yeah, also. So, I moved them onto this lot because I am supposed to build them a house, but I moved them onto the biggest lot, but I want to move, um, use that for the prince's house, so I'll have them move out in a second after I build the prince's house, I guess, since we're already here. I just want to introduce you to our characters. Um, so the first character here is... Can't really get a good view of her. Maybe if we do this. So this is her. Her name is Kathy Grayson, and she is the evil stepmother. And then here is Robert Collier. He is Cinderella's dad. And for Cinderella, I know, the high ponytail is a little strained for a toddler to have, but I don't know. I liked it. Um, so, t the toddler stage is optional for uh, for you to play, but I decided to play it just because I might have them age up early, but you know what, whatever. So, this is Cinderella. I, for the stepsisters, I actually gave them... Pretty names, because I didn't want to offend anyone if I gave them bad names, you know? What if it was someone's actual name? Um, so, for this one, her name is Hope. And as you can probably tell by her outfit, she's going to be kind of a little... Uh, how should I put this? More out there? It's kind of... Yeah. <laughs> Um, and this other one, who is making a beautiful face right now, is, um, Kiara. So those are the two evil stepsisters and Cinderella, the evil stepmother and the dad. We will have the dad, sadly, um, he will have to die when she turns a child, but... For now, he doesn't. Okay, so for you guys that don't know this challenge, I guess I'll kind of explain it to you really quickly. Basically, um, so there's these characters that I just showed you, and when Cinderella becomes a child, her dad will die, and her stepmother will have to take care of her. She'll have to do all the chores, and there's, like, goals for each age so for a toddler it's just to learn her skills and there's points that I'll keep track of on my on a piece of paper and I'll tell you how many points we have at the end of each video and how much money she has although for now she won't be she won't have to make any money because she's just a toddler when she grows up she gets five dollars a day I think it might be a week but, and then she can use that to buy stuff for herself. And that's all the money she has. But I can actually use Mother Lord for the rest of the family to get them really expensive stuff. So, I guess that'll be fun. I haven't used Mother Lord in a long time. I used to use it all the time, though. <laughs> but, um, okay. So, also, I need to create a prince, the prince's house. Which will be here. And when she comes a young adult, and kinda when she's a teen, they have to like fall in love, of course. You've all seen Cinderella. <laughs> and then I have to also create her fairy godmother's house, which can grant her wishes. So that is all. Oh, wait. There's one more thing that I would like to thank you guys for. Well, a specific person but I got a gift in through the this thingy and so it's the first gift I've ever gotten 
So I would just like to thank Sophie X so much for um, giving it to me. And I decided I might want to show you guys me opening it. So I'm just going to accept it here. One second. I think someone's in my driveway. I'm not quite sure, but whatever, you know. <sighs> so she's going to come here and open that. Um, see ya. Sophie Dumps. You can add her on The Sims 3. I thought you might be able to use a little pick-me-up. Please enjoy a little something special for me to you. Of course, I don't give to get, but if a gift showed up in my mailbox, I definitely wouldn't return to sender. Okay, it says, um, you received simoleons. You received 2,000 simoleons. No, I do not wish to give that back. You currently have no pending gifts to accept. So I think we just got... Yep, 2,000 simoleons. This probably wasn't the best time to open that because we're going to use mother load, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, but I'm going to turn these down because that was really loud. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and build the prince's house. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to record any more today. Because I know all this building is going to take me quite a while. Oh my freaking gosh. That took me so long. Oh my gosh. So basically I just built the castle. <laughs> literally a castle except a little more modern and it is huge and that just took me like five hours at least oh oh my gosh that was horrible i i love i love building but i got a little really anxious actually near the end so it, it did not turn out as amazing as a lot of people's but i mean it's not horrible so, wait, first I want to see how much it costed. It's 634265 That's $100. Some or whatever. So here it is. Kind of just an overview. There's a few trees. And then this was supposed to be a garden, but oh, whatever. <laughs> and then here there's... The cars, a uh, fountain, and a bench. And then, inside the house, you come in, and this little welcome area, this, I know, this part is awful. And then there's a bathroom here, and a bathroom here, and, oh, you probably already saw that, but, and there's this, and then here is an elevator yes they have an elevator um i'm not really sure what this is kind of just like a random room with an elevator in it and then there's this art room and here is like where their maids and stuff work why why is this music so loud there we go <laughs> Um, I forgot to put these lights there. So I'll just do that really quickly. So they have like this whole area to themselves basically. They have these beds, a little kitchen bathroom and laundry room for them to do the laundry for everyone <laughs> um and then over here is a indoor pool i know i know it's so amazing i wanted to make an outdoor pool but then there was enough room because i made the castle so big and so i just decided like what the heck why not put one inside and then there's a hot tub that doesn't really fit in the room <laughs> and 
and there's just this little pool house here. Then there is the prince's room. Nothing too special. He's gonna have a dog. That's why I put that stuff there. And then up the stairs we have just this little living room area. Not that cool. Just needed something to put over here. And then there's the kitchen. And in here there's the nursery. And this is the prince's sister's room, the princess, I guess. She's gonna have a cat, as you can see. And then in here, oh gosh, this is the coolest thing. Gotta put the walls up for this. Well, not this part that here, but this is actually kinda cool. There's just this room here with the stairs in it. And then we have this room here. You can probably see these movie posters. And you'll see why, and I forgot to put a door. I know, the suspense. Can I not put a door? Oh, well. Okay. So I think we'll find out why. Because it's on a TV. That's a good reason. Uh. So I think you probably already saw it, but this is the movie theater. Stop making that sound. There's just the seats. And a snow cone machine. And then there's bathrooms for boys and girls and that's kind of it for that part. Then over here we have the big dining room. And this area, as my mom would say, the man cave. <laughs> and the elevator again. And then in here we have a music room. And this is the big master bedroom of the king and queen. Um, I put mirrors all around it so it looks bigger and then in here they have a walk-in closet and a bedroom i mean a bathroom then there's one more thing up here i was gonna decorate this whole thing right here but i was getting a little bored and anxious so i just put in these, a grill, a table, and a bar. So, there it is. So, I guess I forgot I didn't make the people yet. Oops. So, I have to go make the prince and the family, and then I have to make the very godmother then i have to make our house so ugh, uh, so much work okay but you're worth it oh i'm so cheesy this road is messed up <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go make their family and i will be right back bye Okay, so I just finished making the family. Um, I decided to make the mom single now. Because I did. Oh, her name's Ariel. And so perfect with her hair. I'm going to keep Ariel. But I have to change her last name to Charming. Um, so, okay. This is her everyday wear. I know it's fancy, but she's the queen of... We're playing in Appaloosa Plains. I didn't tell you that. Uh, she's the queen of Appaloosa Plains. So, it kind of has to. And then, this is the princess. This is the princess. She is a toddler. I know her lips look awful, but trust me, they look fine when she was a young adult. And Prince Charming is right here. He also looks strangely ugly. 
But doesn't everyone? I know, this is cheesy. Prince Charming is his name. So, we're gonna take these people and we're gonna move them in. Oh, I thought I did this. Well, let's see, I forget. He can be friendly. Good. Actually, athletic and stuff friendly. And there we go. So I made, decided to make the queen single because I didn't feel like making a person. Uh, but yeah, basically that's it. Just because I didn't feel like making another person. So there we go. Um, that's good. Now we'll just put her in with us, but we will move out, of course. I'm going to skip until we do that. Okay, bye. Okay, um, I placed them with our family, but right now I'm actually just going to make the fairy godmother in her house. So I will be right back again. <laughs> Sorry. Bye. Okay, so I just finished the house. It's really small and it's really bad and I just got really bored again. <laughs> I mean, it only took me a few minutes, but it's the direction said to make it look different. So I think I actually did a really good job of making it <laughs> different. You see what I mean? Yeah. Um, I got, I don't know, I just put these really strange plants in here and gave her a really weird roof and I'm good. Um, also I made it kind of look like she was a two-year-old because she's a fairy. So she, yeah, she has a weird house. It's kind of just like a little apartment. It's not that special. Definitely not that special, and I forgot her bathroom. Um, oops. We'll just give her that. That. And. That. Okay. That's good. Um. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make her, and I will be right back. Okay, so here she is. I don't have Supernatural, so sadly I couldn't make her an actual fairy. But I said, um, the direction said to also make her have a unique look. So this is what I came up with. Her eyes are not red. They're supposed to be pink, but I admit they look red and creepy. That's okay. <laughs> so her traits are artistic, brave, clumsy, insane, and fortisto, and her lifetime wish is bottomless nectar cellar. I did that because, you know, fairies like nectar, kind of like butterflies, I'm not actually sure. But okay, so I'm gonna go move her into her own house. Oops. Fairy. Godmother. <laughs> I know. Again, her name is Fairy. Her last name is Godmother. Like Prince Charming. <laughs> so I'm going to move her into her house. I'm not sure if I actually feel... Um, I just don't feel like building another house for them. And... Um... For... Obviously, Cinderella's family. So, I probably will just end this part really soon and make it in the next part because I'm tired right now. And I know that if I make one more house, then I am, I mean, it's just going to be really bad. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna end this part in a little bit. I'm just gonna have them move out of this. I'm so confused right now. She's already at the lot all alone, of course. Of course that makes sense. Duh. Okay, so I'm gonna end this part here. 
thank you so much for watching. I think I'm at 34 subscribers right now, and that is so, 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 so amazing for me. Um, so thank you all so much. Um, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. I will see you in the next part.